be honest with you, not 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 that many mains. Uh, but there was this guy, AD Terminal, who came down from I think I want to say I want to say Milton Keynes yeah. to a couple of events and upset a few people. Got uh, I think fourth place in our weekly, um, just doing crazy Yuri and stuff. So definitely taught the guys when and where and how to apply the game. So it'd be yeah. really interesting to see uh, yeah. the style of uh, Naughty's got those Gunnar gaming glasses on there. <coughs> so you can see three Your frames into the future. Oh, yeah. Very nice head in there. Um, not as one who you know, loves his use of the standing medium punch. Uh, loves to use it to frame trap into a crouching hard punch there. But uh, once again, expecting a Round quite one. an offensive based match from Hurricane Fight. here today. We'll need to get in your space. Yeah. Oh, and medium with the Milgram throw. Cammy for some reason wearing uh, an army uniform with no pants. Don't know why. That's certainly not allowed in the British Army. Cutting back on the budget there. <laughs> yeah, there you go, exactly. Budget cuts. Oh, the Hurricane has just been relentless here today. And there's, there's, there's a stun. Could this be it? Has he got enough bar to kill? Bang, bang, bang. Yes. Tough to see what Nock can do different there. I mean, I uh, didn't really get to see too much of him to have an analysis, but let's hope he can put a bit, a bit more of a display here and can be a bit more active. Oh, overhead from the neutral misses. And he's safe with that dive. Plus, actually, on that EX knee. He's plus two. I like that medium kick. It's such a good button in normal, in uh, the neutral. Yeah, it's one that you can use. Oh, and it gets hit. Wake up, Aegis. It is a legit tactic. Yeah, it always comes out. Oh, so I have to respect it. Not just... <coughs> oh, lands it here. Here we go. What corner stuff has he got? This could change. So is he, he hasn't got Aegis anymore. And that oh. was a great V-reversal. Yeah. Hurricane out of there at the first opportunity. Yep, straight away. Because he didn't have the, uh, the V-trigger anymore, there's a lot of, uh, not a lot of, of fear to be had in the corner, so. Yeah. Round one. Okay, so this is going to require a big, big change in Naughty straight back in there. Oh, Hurricane Ray there, it's standing fierce, he's landing into the corner again. Oh, not getting caught, pressing buttons, whipping command, grabs it. Okay, is he going to go for a mix up? Nemo setups. Oh no, misses it. So, Hurricane oh. marching on yeah. to set point. Oh. Oh. Hurricane has just got reading them, unfortunately, at the moment. Okay, so, not just throwing at some of the standing medium kicks there, just trying to get any life he can at this moment in time. Yeah, Hurricane also happy to stay back. Right now that EX Chariot tackle. Yep, yeah, why not? Okay, so... Oh, great shimmy there to be trigger Into critical art, but you're in with the health buff, which will soon be reduced. Does Come it make out. a difference, <laughs> does it? Who needs 25 health? He needs another 25 health. So not looking a little bit disheartened there. It's a bit unfortunate. I think Hurricane maybe just flustered him a little bit too yeah. much there. Just um, straight away in his face, pushing him into a corner. So Hurricane moves on, and I believe that's unfortunately not um, out of the tournament. Yeah, loses today. bracket, so that's uh, that's it for him. Um, we moving on. Uh, we've got Brictarian versus Amsterdam Daddy. Where is this in the bracket? Have you got that on your screen? Yeah, I will bring up where we are at the moment on for you just now. On your multimedia device. Right, let's see where we are. So, so Amsterdam Daddy and Brictarian is... Losers round two. Okay, so this is losers bracket as well. The general is fighting out of losers. Oh, we saw. Who did we see him lose to yesterday? Oh, it was. They were both in my pool. It was the Bison player. Yes. Um, from the SFO. Chaos scene. time. Yes. And to be honest, I actually, as he was in my group, I did a little bit of research on Chaos time. And from what I was seeing, he was 
pretty much ripping up the SFO scene. He's seen him take out the likes of Shinji there just now, who okay. was very active early on in the Street Fighter V days, just now uh, winning pretty much most of the tournaments <coughs> uh, that I was watching. And as we saw yesterday, done fantastic against uh, I'm Still the Daddy. And also the sex warm-up tournament that we had um, on Friday. The what warm-up tournament? The uh, sex, the computer games exchange. C-E-X. <laughs> uh, apparently it's pronounced sex. Is it? Yes. Well, I wouldn't go telling your friends that you had a sex warm-up tournament yesterday, mate. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll be careful and tell my missus where I've been. Uh, where where I've been why did here. you get back late? Oh, you know. It's deep in, deep in the bracket. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yep, so we're just having it confirmed. It is definitely sex, folks. <laughs> the sex warm-up tournament. Who was the sex warm-up tournament champion? Make yourself known. I've never felt so liberated Sorry? being able to say that out loud. Brian is the sex champion. Congratulations, Brian. Yep, so he was... Uh, <laughs> yep, wolf whistles. <laughs> so you have free reign to say all you want today, Logan. I'm, I'm all right. I'll, I'll stick with CEX. Of course, uh, shout out to some of our sponsors HyperX, Zowie, Nintendo, Capcom, Bandai, Namco, Never Wrong, yeah, Combo I, Cafe, oh, Super oh, Barrio, yeah. Max XP, Reflow oh, Switches, Faker Productions for the overlays, of course, and Twitch. So here we go, Bricktarium with Urian. So this is a loser's round, round match, one. so fortunately Point. whoever doesn't make it through this game is out of the tournament for today, so quick button oh yeah. check there just now. And uh, yeah. <coughs> it looks like Terium is going for the colour-coded hair match there with his urine choice. <laughs> Looking like a giant leprechaun. Yep, got the red hair there just now as well. Let's the see. urine, by the way, not Bricktarium. <laughs> Okay, so I'm sort of daddy wearing his uh, stream costume there. Yeah. Is he ready to cover the face? Got the bandana ready to put in some work. No egg and cress sandwiches on the stage. So Brick Terium, I've seen him play online and in turns four by no means a slouch. Very, very good Yuri yep. player. Yep, very solid player. We'll see how he gets on. Round one. Got that fake tan on. He definitely looks like he's at a gypsy wedding, isn't he? Yeah, absolutely. Very brave, very bold there just now. Okay, and that is just pushed him right into the corner. And now expecting he's it, backing off now. Yeah. He's got a significant life lead, no V skill for you. Really expecting it. As a Gale player, once you've got the space to back into Yes, he punishes the Sonic. Oh no, but he doesn't get the combo. That was great. Oh. Uh, unfortunately, the second Aegis is a no go. I really like the punishment of the, uh, the Sonic move with Aegis, but he didn't get the combo. That would have been a huge, huge turnaround. And this is going to be very difficult Jump. now for Bricktarian to bring it back against Armstrong the Daddy Useful. So much life to play with. It's not a good fight for war for him at all. Yeah, I think Urien can come close to matching Gale, but just not quite there when it comes to projectile wars. I mean, the fact that he can charge his fireball is, is obviously a bonus, but just against the, the V-Skill team, yeah, jump in, he's ready for that. <coughs> it's always going to be very uphill. So I think Rick Perium just needs to find a way in here. And here, the pro decides to go back to a zonal game here just now. Oh, crush counter just creates a space. Brilliant catch in the air there. Okay, so we're at full screen fireball war here just now. And like I said, Logan's only going to be one winner here. So we're back suplex. wary about those uh, sonic booms. Going for a mix-up with his own boom. Oh, yeah. 
Cop normally really, really, really reliable, that forward medium punch, but not at that range. Dial yeah, I but I definitely got the crouch fierce was the one to go for there. I don't know if he'd already committed to the forward medium punch. Yeah. Possibly even standing hard kick, which is a great tool for stopping cross-ups as well when people yeah. try to jump over you. So we're going character select. It's not really working out for Bacterium. Uh, he might be taking a moment to think about things. Uh, we might be switching characters. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not aware of him playing any other characters personally. So I think likely just to be a little bit of a thing. <coughs> no. Oh, considering Cami, very interesting choice. I think it would be a good pick. Cammy. Okay, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> with our um, Max and Snout. <laughs> okay, so, uh, yeah. <coughs> You're in arrears, the deck collectors are after you. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, I have the heavies Round after one. me, folks, here just now. I'll clear that deck with the very. Are we playing on this? No, we're not playing on the stage. Okay. Someone played on this stage yesterday, I swear. Yes, we did. I was commentating that match. Yeah. Um, who was it again? I believe it was, oh, was it possibly Cobblecog? D definitely no birdies. Definitely no. no birdies there. But I think that must have been Capcom Pro Tour history in the making right there. I can't remember a match on the beach. <sighs> I love the stage, man. I wish they fixed it. And I can't believe that they've put work into changing the background. So they've changed the characters in the background now. But yeah. they haven't changed the water. Yeah, you know. If Even though they've banned it themselves. And you have alternates for the action stage. You have <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So let's get uh, a nice Low tide version. Out. Get a low tide version. Exactly. Oh, that would look beautiful at night time. Little nighttime romantic walk on the beach. That would be brilliant. Yeah. Coming next, hopefully. So back into it. And uh, Rip Perium getting the sticks with Tammy. I think maybe a better choice in terms of matchups than Urien for this. Uh, not particularly. I think Urien. I mean, Urien's. Urien and Gaal is very difficult for Urien. Yeah, so I think Tammy's got a lot. Uh, easier ways to get in than Urien does. Uh, it's just easier for her to stay in as well. Yeah. Um, and she's got more ways to deal with the, the booms. Not just wait for B trigger and hope you get uh, uh, an Aegis punish on a boom. Okay, so I mean, it's just looking like the last round here just now. Rictarium really struggling just to build up anything consistent here. <coughs> nice, there you go. Reaction to the EX boom there with the EX spiral arrow. Huh? It's going to be a big up oh battle. He could no. have just got a normal jump in there and punished. That was unfortunate. Mentally, though, he'd committed to doing Round the cannon three. strike. That was unfortunate. And I'm still glad he hit set point. Big jump in that time. Looking for the throw bait. Keeps oh. him in the corner. Nice back Great medium punch. Idea. Daddy just not wanting to move. He's looking comfortable just sitting there in the corner. Daddy really comfortable. Once he gets to that range where he can comfortably throw fireballs again, it's really difficult for Bricktarium to just get in. That literally, it's about 10 pixels worth of space that he needs to tra traverse in so he can actually get a button. <coughs> also, Daddy's trying to anti air with the back fist. Oh, punish. No. Could be a bit bigger, maybe, but creates a space for the Oh, anti air there from Bricktarium. The DP activates. Okay, he uses so the full trigger, gets the damage in. He's got Super on its way as well. Nice back fist here. again. He's got it, maybe. Oh, right that on the shin. Super reaction. That is very difficult to react to. Very good stuff there from Bricktarium. It's worth the bar. <coughs> and he's still in the tour. So this pick looking a bit better than Urien. Yep, definitely. It's hard work. It's hard work for Urien. Uh, all the criticism Urien might get as a character. Uh, Guile is definitely able to just control him and zone him. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Okay, so Rickterium building on that momentum from the last round. Nice flash kick, controlling that space. So difficult to jump in on guard. But Kami has other ways of getting in. Okay, some land here, there. That time, just out of range, the spiral arrow. Swing back knuckle, puts it in the mix up situation. Daddy's still looking very comfortable in the corner. And he really loves to use that floor to create space. It does yep. create a bit of distance there. V reversal is great for that as well. You get the space again. And of course, the V trigger is probably the best of all in terms of that. Even on block, you basically get full screen. Yeah, <coughs> absolutely. Daddy out of the corner as well. He's so good at escaping that corner. You see a lot of other uh, guys like Diaminion, for example, who are just so good at defending out of the corner. But Amsterdam Daddy is one of the best at getting out of there. Yeah, 
Brick James, it seems like it's, it's a big struggle just to try and work him into the other corner there just now. Nice, hard punches. Slow back kick, just controlling the space and the oh flash kick yeah. to close it out. And that was just, in the end, it was just desperation there for Victoria to get in. Yeah, there was Chase, he was jumping in, he just... Yeah, he was chasing the game, chasing the game too much and took a ton of damage. Um, but we are moving up back into the winner's bracket now with winner's quarter finals. Uh, we have Problem X back on stream. You know, he seems to be on stream every five minutes at the moment, but that's because he's cruising through winners with a great performance. We saw him draw out his Laura last time round. Yes, a surprise and <coughs> a good pick at that as well. You know, look very, very confident there just now. But um So he's going up against Dark Moon Hado. He's probably going to be using Kami, and uh, he's going to go straight to Birdie on the character select stream. I'll tell you that immediately. Right, um, is this his pick for Kami? Is this who he uh, plays against Hurricane with? It's a good matchup for, uh, for Kami. He plays, obviously, Hurricane. He plays uh, Shax as well. Um, there's quite a few Kamis that are active in London. And uh, it's a good matchup for Birdie, I think. Great. So, yeah, I mean, but as we, we've seen from Dark Moon Hado, a couple of possible surprise upsets, you might say, with mm. uh, beating both Tyron and also Brian yep. on his way here. Still in winners, still doing a good display. So yeah, It's going to be an uphill match, this one, though. We'll see uh, whether... Whether Dark Moon can uh, rise to the challenge as he has done uh, previously already on stream today. Problem X, of course, on that hoary fight pad. Dark Moon on that uh, now uh, defunct Mad Cats T2. Okay, so yeah. I mean, I think from seeing Street Fighter 5, there's a lot more pad players these days. Um, I think it's becoming a bit I just think a lot more of those guys are sort of getting involved offline. Wow. Yeah, I know Rise Brian actually switched from stick to pads, and he seems to have adapted very well to it. Right, okay. Um, problem a pad player for quite some time, I believe. Okay, so are we going to get our expected birdie and Kami here today? I say yes, but you never know with problem. <coughs> well, there you go. I didn't know. Straight to him. Birdie is just basically a great big bastard. Um, he's going to put normals out and be really annoying and not really take a lot of risk. And Kami is going to have to take a ton of damage to get in. Yeah, Birdie is a mad mountain. He's a wall at points. Round one. You see a lot of crouching medium, uh, crouching light punch. There you go, straight away. Standard medium punch. Safe sweep at max range. Can't do anything about that without meter. interested in anti-air and that's back dashes straight away. Our problem is just controlling his pace. There you go, you see him. Anti-air that time again. Okay, so... Nothing too crazy nice about Dark Moon Hado in. Nice pressure here from Dark Moon. Oh, catches no the way. Very good there. stuff. Wow. And it was those lacks of anti-airs that cost it for problem. That is a statement there, Logan. Yep. Definitely can't let it get in on you. That's all the whole basis of this matchup choose to let her jump in, and you're going to be in those situations exactly the same as everyone else. And Birdie hasn't got the reversals to deal with it. He's got no three frames whatsoever. Yeah. Barely any four frames. So he lands a jump in. Problem is happy just to sit back there. Just now, now we're in corner situation again, but great, great V reversal. Darkman had all reacting there as soon as he was up. Right in the bar. So I think Dark Moon is going to be fishing for that V trigger there. Oh, lands it. And that's why he's kind of reticent to anti -air. Oh, just pulls it out. Okay, raw activation. He's going to get the dive kick, put him in a mix up. And once again, problem just saying no. V reversal. Walks out of the pressure. Just a slitter of life left one more there. Touch. He's going to go for a max range sweep, I'm calling it. Gets a grab. Oh, problem. Fully aware there. Took his turn. Yep, just waited for the Final opportune round. moment. Fight. Okay, but still a close round. Oh, he's counting here for his problems, trying to anti-air 
Dark Moon Hadoop up to upgrade to throw the dive kick. Oh, oh that was unfortunate. I think that must have been a missed input. Should have been drilled, possibly. Might have just been raw super. Any buttons clearly here just now. And Dark Moon Hado's recognizing it. He's going for another one. Oh, catches the full attempt there just now. Wow, he tried to take. Spring back, Knuckle catches it. Solid stuff there from Dark Moon Hado, and he takes the first game. Yeah, once again, surprising us here, Dark Moon Hado, but. It's probably going to stick. That was all very much to do this with the air. It's entirely to do with the air. He's going to go straight back in. Fight. When he did try an anti-air, he got counter hit. When he did an anti-air, he blocked into the pressure. Oh, missed it again. I think he was anticipating the dive kick again, possibly. So Darkman Huggle is actually spacing it very well, just landing at the shins with the dive kick there. For him. Yeah, the, the full head has been a great friend to problem here, just uh, pushing Dark Moon Hado back into the center of the screen. Okay, now this gets interesting because problem has no opportunity to be reversal. Interrupts though. Are we going to see some full loops again? No problem, aware of it. Adjusting a little bit to these dive kicks, he's uh, oh. over. just as we say that, Dark Moon Hado lands a counter, nice. and that's around. Solid stuff from Dark Moon Hado, playing very well. Dark Moon Hado is having big difficulty, big problems, in fact, dealing with these jumpers. Yep. I think, right. I think that's where all the real pressure is coming yeah, from. Dark Moon is mixing up his, his just normal jumps and his dive kicks. Really, really well. There yeah, again, you see the counter hit, and he's getting damage into the into the situations that are leading to more damage, and that's the, that's the real thing, you know. You, you fail an anti and you lose 300 health for it, yeah. and get carried to the corner. He's definitely looking situations. a little bit scared of those knife kicks at the moment. Oh, and straight into the V gauge. I think it's difficult as well for Problem to, to use uh, any V skill tool. There we go, and he uses that. He's starting to bring the tools out now that he needs to use the, the bullhorn and the X command grab. Haven't seen them out yet. Ready even at the moment. Oh, oh Jesse Oh, that's a great answer. And he baits out the cannon strike. Final Neutral round. jump hard kick is a very good answer Fight. because the normal jump in it will anti-air and the cannon strike will whiff and it will land on a the medium punch into the head combo. I mean, every time I think Problem's just really been struggling to not be pushed back against the corner here just now. Seems like this is where the majority of the match has been taken yeah. place at the moment, but at the same time he's been holding strong for a lot of it. Massive life lead here for oh, Dark Moon Hado. Problem. Oh, he's got it! And he's that got is it! it. And Dark Moon Hado takes it 2-0. Really solid stuff. Well Can done, Dark Moon Hado. Yeah. Looking great there. Played incredibly well. All and credit to him. And Problem X goes down to the loser's bracket. Yeah, I, I think it was thoroughly deserved there. Mm. Just now. It was Absolutely. He didn't really have a reliable answer to those jump-ins. Um, spaced them out really, really well. And it was very difficult to cover both. Um, and he made the most of it as well. He converted that into damage. Uh, and corner carry and pressure. And he didn't really allow Problem to get away with anything. And it was yeah. really tight and solid carry play. Th I mean, there was some great conditioning there just now. We uh, <coughs> saw Dark Moon Hado <coughs> going in with all the frame traps to begin with. And in one round, it was three, four grabs in a row there just yep. now. So his problem did not want to press any kind of a button. Yeah, he was really good at, uh, at varying up his options. Um, whether it was his pressure with the throws or uh, the medium punches. Whether it was the jump-ins with the jump hard punch or the cannon strikes. It was really, really good uh, variation of his offense. And the hard reads paid off and he was ready for ready yeah. to capitalize uh two guys that have had a great tournament so far i think they'll both be very happy to be this far they're in winners quarterfinals 
It's uh, SFO Chaos Time and Shivrukin. Uh, both had some good upsets. Uh, Chaos Time, of course, defeated Amsterdam the Baddies. Shivrukin defeated Hurricane. They are both here in winners' quarterfinals, and they are on stage right now. Yep, so this will be a tough time for uh, Chaos Time. Uh, it will be a torrid time for Chaos Time. Yeah. Uh, it's probably going to be getting norrid. I was actually speaking to him about this matchup, and in his opinion, Laura walks all over Bison. You know, I, I think since the beginning of Street Fighter V, Laura has been seen as a, a bad matchup for Bison there just now. Uh, she can do her, um, her elbow or air elbow to catch him out of any devil's reverses. Okay. Head stomps there, just completely annihilate any form of game in the air. So as we expected, um, <laughs> and Kill Time is one I would describe as very, very fundamental space. He's not too crazy, doesn't go for anything overly flashy, uh, knows his frame traps, knows when to press buttons, and just makes great use of B-Trigger as well. Round one. Fight! Okay, so round one here. Oh, oh, here we go, guys. opening up. Nothing but normals, and Shuriken looking very passive at the moment. Is that enough? He forfeits the first game. Yep, one nil. Okay, so it looks like we're just going to get into this one any second. I think the guys are ready. And I think, is that a red light on Chaos Time's pad? He better watch the battery in that bad boy there. Well, that just means to play a two. Um, oh, right, right, okay. <laughs> Good. Okay, so it looks like we're starting for real this time. Round one. Fight! Oh, starts with the reset command grab there. Just goes, jumps in, grab. Presses buttons after the medium elbow, that's brave. Yep, so what you'll find is that Chaos Time only really commits when he knows he's got frame advantage. He loves to dash up, loves to make you wait, press the button, go for plus counter. Oh, but Shibri is just not giving my chance to get any of it going. So he's getting opened up now by the by the command dash on block, which is definitely not plus. He's just not reacting to them, he's not able to react to those dashes, and Shibri is going to notice that and get the most out of it he can. He closes out the first round. So Chaos Time was pressing buttons after the blocked elbow, the meaty blocked elbow, that's plus one, so he's at minus frames there. Whoa. Yet he wasn't pressing buttons after the command dash, so... Shibuken's gonna notice that, see if he can take advantage. I think we should see a lot more of the command dashes there, so... Oh, yeah, tight block strings there from Chaos Time. Oh, yeah. just to float here. Yeah, three jump in. Straight into the future. Is he going to go for the mix up? No, quick rise, stops nice it. Nice back dash. Backlash is a good answer. Uh, you're not going to get hit by anything unless they make the hardest of reads. And the command grab is not going to work. Using that fireball to see what he does. Yeah, he could have got a punish on him. Yeah, good anti air. Yeah, very slow anti air there just now, but it's. Final it works for Bison and a it's got a good hitbox, though. Yeah. Big damage. Oh, nice meaty there. Doesn't get the normal armor. Okay, pin down. Heels tight, very really reversal. struggling. Oh no, he's just... And there you go, there you've seen the, the punish on the back there. The hard read closes it out, 1-0 Shibruken. <coughs> that looks like a hard, hard time for Chaos time to deal with, so... It's a difficult one because... Um, at that situation where she's plus, it's literally a 50-50. Yeah. The back dash is not a legit answer because if she goes for the slow short, um, she's plus two. So it'll keep me grounded and I'll get comboed. Fight. Yeah, and you know, Laura gets away with jumping in quite a lot on Bison. Once again, Bison, uh, I guess, is quite spatial dependent, his anti here, so... Wow, gets thrown out of the, the hard punch. Okay. That was. So, right there. He reverses the pimp slap, respect. 
Good, good catch there just now. Just waited for him to jump over the thunderclap. Uh, reliable anti-air, as you said. <coughs> oh, just misses. Oh, Double knees. Here we go. Hits. Corner reset. He's going over. He is. Takes the side switch. Blocks it well. Gets the throw. How's he going to... Oh, just dashing back and forth there just now. Oh, oh I crossed up. I think he was just flustered with all yeah, that movement there. he was just hypnotized by the movement. Round two. Fight. Okay, so match point here for Shibriukin. But I believe this is winner's side, so... Oh no, th this is looking like it could be over. But Chaos Time managing to stay firm here just now. Oh, getting a free jump in. Using that standing leg kick, free frame startup. Great move to use even on wake up as a Bison player. Looking for the elbow. Crush counters, that's it. No, oh, Magic Pixel. Not doing anything dangerous here. Are we going to see an overhead? V reversals immediately. Oh, oh okay. So he's going to activate. Yep. Oh, great activation. No! Oh, oh my god. Still not out. It's nothing off that back throw though, so I'm not sure about that as well. Maybe a little Least bit of nerves there just now. The yeah, X-Cycle Blast, no. A little bit too early on the down forward hard punch. And he... Shibrukin is out of there before he can even switch the camera shot. Okay, so moving on in winner's side. But Chaos Time not Esther, yet. sorry. Could we get the run back Winter between side, I'm yeah. Still the Daddy and Chaos Time? I'm very curious. That was a great Possibly. match to watch. Um... But yeah, guys, just want to, to give a, a quick shout out to some of our sponsors here just now. I'm going to say it again, Logan Sex, for providing all of the consoles, the hardware today. The hardware from Sex. Yeah, yep, absolutely. Great, great hardware. Thank you for all the Sex hardware. Really appreciate it. Yeah, always appreciate and welcome up here. Yeah. Uh, we've got uh, Zoe, who came across, provide a lot of monitors for the day as well. Yeah, Zoe by BenQ. Um, their monitors, of course, legless console specific esports monitors with the hdmi out so you can have head-to-head -head lagless setups or you can use it for your capture card as well at home if you want to stream uh get your stream game on then yeah there's Absolutely. Zoe by ben q what is the r we also have red bull as always thank you red bull for uh playing such an active role in our community these days you know, yes it's great to see you just uh, supporting us at majority of events even putting on your own tournaments there and also, let's yeah, not don't, don't forget as well. Let yep. me just interject there. Please Rebel do. Kumite, end of May. Look out for that. I'll be there. Cannot alongside wait. F Cannot words, wait. Uh, on commentary. Some incredible players invited. Uh, it's sold out, but you'll be able to catch the stream online. Uh, so that'll be end of May. Yeah, I think Red Bull Kumite, one of the big calendar events <coughs> here, and I love the octagon ring. I love yeah, it. Yeah, the cage definitely, definitely sets it apart. Yeah. So guys, just to see if we can give you a rundown on some of the matches that we have coming up at the moment. Uh, we coming up next, we've got Red Bull's own, speaking of Red Bull, Red Bull's own Luffy. Um, he's going up against Shax, uh, another very talented young player from the London community uh, who has a variety of characters. They're getting set up now, but what else can we look forward to? Yep, so after that, we are looking at Takamura and Cobblecog. Oh, that'll be an exciting one. Um, that is winner's quarter final stages. Mm. Uh, as is the Luffy Shacks match, and then after that we are going to go into the losers round three. I'm still the daddy versus Hurricane. Okay. So it looks like London versus London, uh, and unfortunately another one uh, which is an elimination game for London, Problem X, and then Pax, uh, and that is us for the moment just waiting for some other games to be confirmed, uh, dependent on these results coming up. So Shacks looks like he's in Karen. All right, I thought Shax was uh, <laughs> moving back to Laura for season two. Shax has got a Kami, he has a Karin, he has a Laura, he has a Nash, he has probably another seven characters. And do you feel this is a good pick for Mika? It's more down to sort of what you feel comfortable right. with. Yeah. Um, I don't really know if there's much of a difference between uh, Karin and Kami. Obviously, Kami has access to a DP, but yeah. without me, it's kind of irrelevant anyway. So, once again, both guys just kind of playing a little bit defensively, just seeing how they react to each other at the moment. Oh, the drop kick plus frames. Okay, so Shaq catching butts from Luffy there just now, and got him cornered. Oh, 
to be cool. Like, um, yeah. I think Karen's definitely a character for the young men. You know, like the guys that have got the time and the energy and the concentration to execute all of her stuff because she's a very execution heavy character. With the confirmed and the just frames. Yeah, a bit more of a reactionary character, you know, just like Justin Wong does, very footsy space, she can be played that way. Yeah, and then you have obviously, you know, the young guys like Punk Round doing two. incredibly well. Yeah. Um, okay, so Shaq's looking great in that first round. Let's see what Luffy can do coming up now. Okay, so immediately dashing up, just chopping away there. Okay, can he make the most of this knockdown? Yep. Man grab, tick throw. Just says having none of it there from Shax. Oh, just walking up pressing buttons. Very patient defense there from Luffy. It's the Stone Cold Stunner. Oh! Oh, that's super. Okay, so Luffy, a lot of neutral jumping there just now, just trying to catch anything from Shax. Well, it. I'm not entirely certain, Final but round. would have identified that uh, Shax was very close to having V-Trigger up, and that makes the V-Skill a very attractive option, and of course, neutral jump does blow up the V-Skill. Great, great. Yeah, Jesus to V-Reversal the drop kick. Oh, great reaction again from the windless air force. Breaking any form of pressure there just now from Shax. Oh, misses the corner carry. Season 2 combos there. Yeah. Doesn't get the wall anywhere on the screen, which is good. So Shaq's good very close to full stocks, and just as we see that, and but he's dead. It doesn't make a difference. And it's gone. That face splash into the ground. Luffy is definitely not going to be in any way flustered or perturbed. I never see Luffy flustered or perturbed. Always looks calm. Yeah, very, very straight face when he's playing there. It's now very focused. Deep breath, look like a yawn. I hope you got enough sleep last night, who knows. Is there a casino nearby? Yeah, there's, there's bound to be a few casinos, so maybe out of the town last night, get it lucky. We love to see that, this movie. Shaq's going back to character select. Oh, he's changing up Nash. Yeah, he said he's got Nash. So Nash considered one of the lower tier characters now, but I think the new patch drops, I, I'm not sure if that'll make a big difference to him or not. Hey, it's not going to make a difference, he's still yeah, I think when there was the uh, the input delay was changed, so that's what really nerfed him. Okay, so he's going to... So he's locked in with Kami. And again, this is just a comfort issue. This is just literally about how he feels he can play. Right, let's see if this pick makes a difference then. Fight! Swift punish. No anti air there. It takes the throw. Very just solid blocking here from Luffy, but he does eventually get opened up. There the throw comes finally. Nice oh, jump out. Splash. splash! Nice, interesting. Gives him the corner as well. Ah, good anti air from Luffy. Oh, crush counter. This that is stun good. is racking up. The Deshko comes up. out. Ooh, blows through the pressure there with the EXDP. I like that. Really made the least of that V-Trigger. Can be so scary to deal with, but hardly yeah. got anything off of it. Really needs to break up the men from that point. Nice oh, oh, no! That was a big error. Big, big read there from Shanks, possibly. But it's not over yet. Yep. Oh, the shimmy! And he's going to finish and it. And he's going to close it out. Yes. Great. So... Jack's kicking to the wire there, Fight. but you know, looking a lot better now. Oh, I used the Sobat kick as a as an anti headbox. Knowledge of your character. Okay. Oh, bait. Bounce up the wall. It's a mix up. Just goes over. Just walks out and Franco DP in the corner. Splash, Splash punished. gets punished, yeah. All of the damage there. Good 250 chunks. Oh, Nadesco time. Look at that red light. Oh, oh that's no. dead. That's dead. Goodbye, Kami. You have no help. <coughs> Thanks for playing. Wow, that was so much damage in about four seconds. 
Yeah, and Fight Kami well. is a glass cannon, as we all know. Fight. She cannot take throws like that. That's it, yeah. It's gonna make up. Oh, maybe he could have caught it, but still got a punish off. Oh, can't hit though. So maybe press something. Like that. Shaq's not fighting in the corner. Yeah, just space oh, that's old. bad. Oh no, this is not good. Yeah, had to do it. Love this is my favorite stage music. The right here, but oh, Shaq's goes in. Okay, so art. throws all the bar out, and all that just to level it up. And he still has V Trigger activated. Oh, yes, he jumps the command oh, yeah. grab. I was going to say, in the day school, was no. coming in there from the sky. She saw the, the hit coming. Well, that's unfortunate from Shaq. Yeah. Great performance from Luffy. Pretty, pretty solid stuff there from Luffy, to be honest with you. Very workmanlike performance. So there is a million Jewel Shocks connected to that. Can we have them all disconnected? Is that all right? Because that is asking for trouble. Can we get those all deleted? Cheers. Yeah, that is a lot of pads. We don't want someone registered. sitting in the crowd just pressing a button in their pocket and uh, winner's quarterfinals gets interrupted, do we? So... Yeah, so I'm just going to see if we can work out where that goes. So Shax moves on from Casey's opponent is still to be confirmed here okay. just now. Uh, yep, yeah, as we mentioned earlier, folks, we've got Takamura and Cobblecock coming back up. So that's a pretty exciting one. Uh, Kami against Ken is a very high-tempo match. Uh, Kami basically does what Ken does, but a little bit better. Um, but she's got less health and less stun, of course, as a a downside to that. Yeah, I, I, I guess one of my biggest fears here just now was something we uh, touched on earlier on with uh, <coughs> perhaps Cobblecog maybe getting a, a little bit aggravated mm. temperament not there. And I think a, a play style of Takamura is going to be very That's a very, very good very point. Infuriating. That's a very good point, Colin. Takamura is very difficult to uh, to deal with. Uh, we saw a player of a composition of packs, you know, not able to deal with everything and react to everything. So uh, be interested to see how Cobblecog goes. But he showed great composure uh, coming back against uh, Tupac in that final game. Oh that God, that yeah. fourth game in that best of three set. Um, and really just ran over Tupac in that last game. So, you know, great, great stuff from him. Yeah, so great display. And I think Cobblecog, possibly Ireland's last hope at the moment. Now, we've seen Brick Kerm unfortunately lose at the moment. Uh, I think Truth has uh, been knocked out today as well. Mm. So, uh, yeah. See if Cobble Cog can keep those Irish dreams alive. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I think they're getting set up now, deleting 700 devices on the machine. Yeah, we'll give them the. Uh, <coughs> Shout out to Sony, who made actually made that more difficult um, with the most recent uh, firmware update. All right, wha what's the. Yeah, before you could just mash the circle, couldn't you? And it would just delete them all. Now you have to do like circle, options, select, circle, options, select. select. Well, Shout outs to Sony for making us work for it. But uh, no, I think guys are still just setting up at the moment. Where's the uh, bracket at? Is it on Smash.gg? Yes. Yeah, let me have a look at the bracket because I want to see what matches we have got to come. Do 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 do. Smash.gg. Yeah, hey guys. So just to confirm, we are in top 32 for hype spotting. Uh, we are on the last day. We will have. We'll be running this down to top eight today. And from we'll be running down everything today, right? Uh, yep, so, so I should say for this period up until this morning, for the next maybe hour, uh, we'll be running top 32 to top 8. And then later this evening, I think we may have top 8. But we'll double check that, but it's either 4 p.m. or 6 p.m. All right, okay, so it looks like we're ready to get into the action. I don't find brackets on here. Mission yesterday. No, I don't. <coughs> I'll see if I can bring events. Top 32 in progress. There we go. Alright, so let's have a look at this top 32. As we expected, Kubokog going Kami. I just don't think there was any disputing that. And uh, Takamura playing his usual <coughs> game. So this is the last game 
uh, in the winners. Brian eliminated Truth, unfortunately. Ray off stream with that. Ray. Yep. Affy eliminated just the power. Pax yep. eliminated the wall two pack. Ooh, whoa. Okay. Wall two pack, same wall. Okay, so we're just hoping up here in Cobble Cog. So Brian plays the loser of this match. Right. Okay, it's all to come. Yeah, a lot of great matches coming up. Nice confirm on the back medium punch target combo. Jumping, big jumping. Locked, 90. Okay, so not too much of the craziness yet from Takamura. No, he's going to wait for his moments because he can't, be, he can't really freely get in on... Uh, She's got much better new buttons and neutral. Yeah, and I think one of the key differentiators will be the fact that Kami maybe can deal with the, the anti-air game a lot more. Yeah. Uh, then what potentially birdie could. Oh, straight to the floor. Not gonna be dead though. Gets back up. Just set up for you. Yeah. No need to do anything crazy there from Cobble Cog. Takamura didn't get the opportunity to activate Vitrig. And this, you've seen how difficult two. it is for Ken to get in range to, to even do any of those uh, crazy run. The ex who gets him in. Cobble Cog waking up with buttons. Overhead misses. Oh, and just wakes up the The interesting thing about Takamura is he's not even covering both options on the wake up. He's just going for the hard read of the quick rise. Yeah. Oh. Again, wake up buttons again from Kogo Kong. Tries it again, he's just and he still pull. goes for him. He cannot be taught not to press buttons and wake up. Oh, nice. nice. Oh, nice that's shimmy. big. And he spends a meter back open and it's going to be done. Nah, it's not going to kill. Oh, oh, that's oh a big, he ran for it. Big read there. I don't know if I would have risked that. Yeah. Especially Final a meterless DP as well. Fine. He's at frame advantage, so the invincibility would have that kicked in. Um, he, if anything, did it a bit too soon. <laughs> Definitely think that it's worthwhile throwing Takamura a lot more. He's blocking yeah. a lot of the time. There again, blocking on wake up. First time he's reversal. If you make a Ken reversal, it's a good thing. Oh, wow! He tries what Bubble Cog did earlier, the big, big reach. So that's a that's an interesting one because he's minus after the um, ex cannon. Uh, sorry, the ex dive kick, the ex tattoo, um, and Kobokog's been pressing buttons after it every time. So that's a hard read. Didn't pay off. Kobokog yeah. staying strong there to snow. Closes out and gets the first game. Good stuff from Kobokog. Looking very solid. Yes. Winning the neutral Round game here, and he's making Takamura really overextend himself to try and close the gap. Takamura going back to those hard buttons. Oh, okay. There you go. Counter. This is Takamura's here. This is where he loves to play the game. In the corner and yet immediate stun there. Oh, and he wakes up with buttons again. And again. Bubble Cog is so stubborn, man. Yeah. Yeah. At least back roll and wake up with buttons. I, I know. It could be a bigger kill he's going from if he continues down that path. Okay, so can it speak and there, perfect. There we go, using that hard kick, that's what I like to see. Big damage and the stun as well. Oh, oh just missed times with the pro here. It's the value in changing your wake up time into the back roll. Takamura spent all of his EX bar. Plus. Oh, that was the most unlegit run I've seen in ages. He back rolls, so the crash medium punch actually whiffs. Nice air yep. to air. Goes to the throw bait again. More running. Oh, ah, it. and he finishes off with a hard punch. Bubble Kong on set point now. Final round. Takamura needs another round like the first one of this game. Everything is being cancelled here, no? Oh, oh Lance jumping. <laughs> Good damage. Oh, Makes big. out the wake up. And here's the stun. Oh, this is looking like it could be 1 1. Bar a miracle for Cobble Cog. Oh, this miracle could be here. And he's got super as well. He needs two more touches. Oh, he landed hit there. 
Oh, one more for stun. V reversal was very good. Oh, and he levels it out. I really like that V reversal. It was such a dangerous position to be in in stun. It's one of the Ken only wins. times you really see Ken play as V reversal. It's just to get rid of stun, to avoid that stun situation, because Ken's V trigger is so good. Yeah, definitely the right decision. I mean, he was in the corner, stun meter was building, but broke it up and took the round. Even here. if they block it, he's zero on block, and you just get rid of 200 stun, and it means you can take another throw. He shouldn't have to risk it all on a, on a rag OTP. Yeah. So it's a, a little bit of a less radical Takamura in these games. Uh, wonder oh, he's still, his, his offense is still completely ridiculous. Yeah. Like, look, run off that, running off everything. Stun. And Kobokog is just like normalizing everything. It's reacting to a lot of the, the negative stuff. Nice option select there. Doesn't go for the big damage combo. He goes for the oh, good read throw there. back into the corner. And the corner is such a strong position for Ken. But Kami, so good at getting out of it. Another reason why she's slightly better than Ken, I feel, at the moment. Just man dashing in there just now. Cobble Cobb doesn't need to do much at all. And he gets counter hit without frame advantage. Yeah, bro, activation just... Oh no. Nice! And a counter hit links into the fireball. And Max range, and Kami that is going to be dead. Oh, that is Great be counter hit confirmed there from Takamura. Tough one to take for Cobra Cog, I think. Tough one to take. It started off that round, it felt so one sided, but Takamura bring it back. You can actually link that um, that super raw after the crash medium punch just on hit, it's plus five now. All right. So that you can go crash a medium punch back medium punch, which has been nerfed from four frames to five frames. But the super's five frames, so he now gets the link to the super any other time. Oh, yeah. took a big risk there just now. That would have been minus if it was uh, He went for the mix up after the. He went for the mix up after the medium tattoo V trigger, going for the side switch. Cobblecock's defense held! Jimmy. The shimmy is getting opened up, and we are going to the final round here. And Cobblecock has full bar as well. He's going to be very confident going final into this. Round. Let's see how he can mitigate Takamura's pressure here. So another Cobblecock game down to the wire. <coughs> Takamura straight away in the corner, but great V reversal there from Cobblecog. Straight out. Takamura seems quite desperate just to get in his face a bit of watch with the yep. command dash run ins. Okay, yep, so Cobblecog happy just to wait it out here. And the damage in the corner, this is tough now. Are we going to see a big risk? It's all the B-Gage. Oh. Into the super. It's not going to be enough to kill. Basically and he's not going to get anything off of it as well. And Ken is going to have full V-Trigger as well. So it's gonna oh, he goes to the grab. But it's still not over by a long way. Oh, that's and that it. should be yeah. it. Yeah, that was always the Takamura. Cobble Cog raising his fist in the air there. With the most YOLO of play. But he goes down to loser's bracket, where I think he's going to face quite possibly the winner of this match coming up next, which is... Um, oh, no, he's not. He is going to play... So Takamura plays Brian. Right Cobble Cog advances. Yeah. Uh, I'm still the daddy in Hurricane. Uh, is our last loser's round three match to come, and that's on stream right now. Then we're getting into loser's round four. The winner of this match coming up, I'm still the daddy in Hurricane, plays against Shax. Uh, so in right. loser's bracket right now, we have uh, Takamura B against Brian. We yep. have Chaos Time against Affy. And we have Problem X against Pax. And I can tell you, Problem X against Pax is going to definitely be an exciting match. Those guys play yep. against each other all the time. Uh, and Pax is still searching for an answer. Uh, and I bet Chaos Time is hating his draw right now. That's the second Laura in a row he's going to have to play. If you play. If you play M. Bison in Street Fighter Five, I can guarantee that you're going to find your bracket. Somehow you're going to navigate your way into every lore at that tournament. Yeah, very much like Bison and Gale from the Ultra Days. <laughs> who just did not want to run into <coughs> Gale. Yeah. Out to Milagana. Yeah. <laughs> wherever you are in the world. Um, right, so yeah, we've got I'm Still the Daddy and Hurricane now. Uh, we are down to...
Okay, so I imagine these guys will know each other very, very well, Logan. Do they play quite a lot together? Uh, online, definitely, 100%. Meet each other online. Am I allowed to ask who generally comes out on top well, of I couldn't matches? tell you, to be honest with you, because I'm not one of those guys that studies CFN all the time. Yeah. And I haven't asked either of them. And you see Iverson with Daddy's unique button layout for his pad. All right, what, is he macroing V-Trigger or...? Yeah, and... Uh, yeah. Yeah, I find B trigger a little bit of an awkward exit yeah. yeah. like For a long time in Street Fighter 4, he actually had no heavy button. No heavy button at all, so he had an unassigned. So he only hand. did he only did EX flash kick and EX Sonic Boom. He never did heavy flash kick or heavy boom. He did, light he did light boom or yeah. EX boom, that was it. That's all you get him. Did he eventually move on to use that the end or no. buttons or <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I think he does now. Um but yeah. Round one. Right, okay, so Fight. let's see if we we'll get underway. Oh, button, button check. checking. I imagine this is uh, going to be quite tough for I'm still the daddy. I hope we get this now. stage again. I hope they just go back to rematch. Because I want to take this higher. To be honest with you. Oh, we're yeah. not going to get it, are we? Ooh. The gods may be in our side. We never know. Random select could still work in our favour. Take this higher. What a cracking <laughs> bit of music that is. Okay, we're going to the general's backyard. We are on our way to Pum Pum City. He wants the army behind him. General's army in the chat. Rocking that burgundy colored Adidas track. Round one. And I'm sure he's wearing Air Max 9 with it as well. Here we go. Hurricane, Cammy, player one. That was still any goal. Player two loses bracket. Yeah, so Daddy just backdashing. Doesn't want to get anywhere near a hurricane at the moment. Great reaction in flash kick there. Nice activation. Oh! Just misses there. Both. Whoa, the hitbox. He was behind him there. One more touch for the stun, and very that is going to be the round. It was a good time. Oh, we, that wasn't even a combo, by the way. So he must have just taken his hands off the pad. It's yeah, it's, it's he, got counter hit. he got counter hit, so uh, I don't know what happened there. Um, it was a good time to flash kick. Next hit for the stun. You have to let them know that they're going to have to earn this. You can't just be thirsty and go in all the time. So it's a good time to do it first round. I feel I'm still the daddy that really had to work hard for the damage that he did get. Yep. Okay, just nice. The flash kick. <laughs> oh, and the throw bait. Take him to the corner. One more touch into the super is what he needs. Oh, and the bait again. Through. He doesn't auto correct that time with the flash kick. Unfortunate. Yeah, this looks very, very tough, Logan. I'm not sure what I'm still the daddy can do here to change it up. Um. The pressure here from, from Claude is really, really effective. Um, and he's baited out to baiting out the flash kicks. And yeah, and can we just one. One. she seems to be able to close the distance right. on Gale very, very quickly. Yeah, I mean when she's got bar, it's hard for her to get bar. Nice reaction. It's hard for her to build meter, but when she has meter it gives her the opportunity to get through uh, those sonic wounds. Flash kick, not too close for the coaching her punch. Nice, and obviously that he just needs to keep her more there. That range, you know, like just under half screen. So she has to she has to make hard reads to get in. Uh, she's gonna end up blocking with her face a lot of the time. A good neutral jump there. But. And now that she is in though, she's gonna definitely have her way with the character and pretty much onto the daddy's only option is gonna be flash kick. Oh god. That was excellent blocking there from I'm so Daddy, and it gives him all that space to work with now as well. Nice strong life lead here from I'm so the Daddy, but pressure here from Kami. Oh, straight switching. Oh, he, oh, he closed it. it out. He only needed one more hit, but so did Hurricane. That's important. And he goes to set point. You, you can challenge at the right time, but it is a massive, massive Round risk two. to do so. I mean, it's not its not the hardest thing in the world if you're looking for it. Yeah. It's really easy to stop. There's a lot of star up on it. And you can get a good counter hit combo as well. If you're ready. Oh, baits out the normal flash kick that time. Safe jump. 
Johnson and Danny V reversing every opportunity. That time the flash kick does hit. Big damage on the counter hit as well. He's gonna get the damage here Excellent. also, look at that. Yeah, Fighting his way back, wants to stay in this tournament. Oh, yeah. Stuffs him out of the EX Sonic Boom. Tick throw in the corner, such oppressive force. Oh, it goes the wrong way, that's so unfortunate there. Yeah, you can't be reversed with that V-Trigger dive kick. Oh, great oh, oh my god! He was just taking off near the there. And that was such a very, very strong display from Hurricane. Unfortunately, Damn. I'm still the daddy has to go out, but good display from him this weekend, and Hurricane marches on. So we are now in our final four matches of this uh, afternoon session. Uh, we'll be back for top eight. Um, but we have got, uh, next up we've got Problem X and Pax. Still to come, we've got Chaos Time and Affy. We've got Shax and the Hurricane and Takamura B against Brian. So there's the four remaining matches we have for you in this session.